Well, in this shop we use magnets a fair amount. And what we have are here are just a couple of rare earth magnets and they're just mated together. I use that just to, to have some good strength onto them. And what we find is on any plane, not just the 750, but on any plane, they're very useful in helping us when we're doing the bolting. So if we look at the 750, we know that in here on the channel, we have two bolts into here. And it's within a channel with another channel one behind it, and you've only got access holes in the back. So essentially, you have a bolt like this, and it's on an angle downward. So when we go in, we put the washer on inside, and of course the washers will always fall off and fall into the channel, as well as the nuts and everything else. So we cheat a bit. We take our little magnets, we stick them on our bolt, now we can go inside this little wee hole with a pair of vice grips and just put our washer there. And our washer's not going anywhere. See, it's not even on the bolt. It hasn't fallen off yet. And then we get our nut. We can do the same with the nut. And it stays there as well. So it gives us a little bit of time to just shift everything on, get the nut in place, and we can start screwing it on. And in some of the other places you'll find, up here in, in the motor mount, we have nuts that the heads are on the top and everything else on the bottom. Once again, put the magnet on the top and everything will stick there and it'll allow us to line it all up. When you do the fork for the nose wheel, once again, if you have two guys, it's a lot easier, but typically we work by ourselves. So the magnets are an extra hand to help us get these things on, stay there, not drop on the floor, not have to spend an hour chasing and find out where it went. Okay, so here we have that situation that we always hate where we've dropped a nut. I'm working up here, I've dropped a nut, and of course it went right down here and scooted right in underneath this plate. I have, you know, I have no real way of getting into there, the pliers won't grab anything, so here I come back with fun with magnets. Here's my two rare earth magnets once again. I'm going to put them on the bottom of the fuselage, and then I'm going to bring my nut out. And look, we even got some rivet stems to go with it. All right, occasionally you, you end up with a spot that's a blind area and it's, it's a little hard to get to. Um, there's no way to visually see it or transfer uh, information from the inside of the plane to the outside of the plane. So what we've done is we come up with a little trick and what we use are these two little things. They're little rare earth magnets. You can get them at most hobby stores, uh, uh, hardware stores, uh, simple little magnets. And all we're going to do is we're going to put one on the inside of the fuselage. Now I've got a bracket in there I needed to get to. And we've already finished this bracket, so uh, you know, you're not going to get the full benefit of me doing the holes. Well, I put the magnet on the outside. What I want to do is I want to find the very edge of the L bracket that I have in behind here. So I move the magnet on the inside up to that bracket, and I can put my little Sharpie mark there. That tells me right where the edge of that bracket is. And I move it all the way down. I'm marking on the edge, which on the inside, the edge of the exact same one is right against the L on the inside. So now, I can move this one out of the way. Now I've marked, and I can draw a straight line, and I can see that on the inside of the plane, that's where the edge is. And I know that my, my part is 20 millimeters flange, so if I measure over 10 millimeters, then I'm in the dead center of my flange, and I can put my rivet line in there. Very simple method, as you can see. They move around, nice and easy. And if you get trapped where you don't, uh, uh, you're in a blind spot, that works very well to find your holes.